Page 11's Clive Cymru MEP, what's your reaction to this news that three beaches in Wales have failed to meet the EU standards for bathing water quality? Well, I'm concerned, obviously, particularly as those three are, are very key beaches. They are areas where a lot of, of tourists come and where we hope to attract more to tourists. And we know that clean beaches are one of the determining factors on where, where people go um, to spend time and to, to go on holidays. So it's something that we need to address very seriously. Um, it is true, of course, that 97% that of our beaches actually reach the, the current standards under the, the EU law on bathing water. But of course, by the end of this year, the, the new law will come into force, which will make it much more strict. And under the new criteria, only 75% of our beaches meet, meet the standards. So we have a lot of work to do to make sure that our coastline is, is really a top standard. So what kind of things then do we need to be doing differently? What do we need to improve to make sure that we are in line with these standards? All Welsh beaches are in line with these standards for the future. Well, we can't control the weather um, and, of course, heavy rainfall, which we are all too familiar with this year, is a, a big factor in that because it increases the runoff and, and pollution and, and so on. But in terms of, of flood prevention generally, uh, we, we do have a problem in Wales and we do need to do much more. The, the Welsh Government are looking at this because of uh, experience last year, for example, in, in Ceredigion, where there was terrible flooding. And this is something that we need to address, not just to stop people's homes and businesses and communities getting flooded, but as we can see now, to protect the whole environment, because flooding doesn't just directly affect the the, the people who suffer from it in a very bad way, it has many more knock-on effects and, and it's something that we need to address for the environment and the, the standard of areas throughout Wales. You mentioned the Welsh Government in, in that answer, but whose responsibility is it to make sure that Welsh beaches are clean and that the water quality does meet those European standards? Who, who's actually responsible? Well, of course, local authorities play a large part in terms of, of flood prevention work and planning and, and so on. But it is up to the, the government. Uh, we do now have this annual monitoring by the European Union. It's something that's, that's been brought in under the, the Bathing Water Directive. And we need to really use that information. The government uh, puts a lot of emphasis on tourism. We want sustainable tourism, so tourism that will help the environment and help people relax and, and enjoy our, our beautiful countryside and that means coming up to the very top European standards in order to compete with countries throughout the whole of Europe and so I would say that the government needs to, to look at this as a matter of priority, the new environmental body needs to, to look at it, to look at what can be done to put it right for the long term, not just for short term figures but really for, for a long sustainable um, policy that will help improve our whole coastline. And just finally for those three beaches that have failed in, in this year's report in, in, in Wales. How much of a blow do you think that will be to, to those beaches and how important are they to tourism in Wales? Well, they are important and, and they are all very lovely places, of course, and people do come there and do visit often. And I think that's why we need to ad address the problem. Um, they haven't quite come up to standard this time. We need to find out why not, and we need to put that right. These, these are figures from last year, of course, so we need to, to wait and see the figures for this year, but we need to be looking at, at what we do about it, how we put it right, so we don't see these failing figures again.